do. Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Greetings, my kindreds. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be doing a full face beat in 30 minutes. Look, 30 minutes might seem like a long time, but it's really not. So I've been doing like YouTube videos for like four or five years now. And when I first started making content, I was doing nothing but makeup tutorials. So I figured today, I don't know, I just was inspired by myself to just like kind of get back into it. So it's Juneteenth right now and I'm about to go outside. So I wanna go ahead and just like record me doing my makeup and tell you guys like what products I use and all of that good stuff. So yeah. I like to start with putting on a primer. I'm gonna be using the Pepper Prime um, Natural Radiance by MAC. I'm not even gonna lie, some days I use a primer and some days I don't. And, and my makeup honestly turns out just as good. It really, to me, what makes or break your makeup is your setting powder and your setting spray. And then I like to move on to my brows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade Brow Dip in Dark Brown. I used to use um, Balak a lot, but I think I realized that that was a little bit too harsh. Dark Brown gives a more softer, kind of natural look. And then I'm also using the Morphe 158 um, brush, like brow brush. I outline the shape of my brows first and then I lightly fill it in. I fortunately have like a lot of or enough or a good amount of hair strands on my brows so I don't have to do too much filling. And then I don't like to go overboard because then they start to look like harsh. So I just fill it in just a little bit, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and conceal my brows using the M421 brush by Morphe. And for concealer, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And I like to use a flat brush because it's easier for me to um, finesse. It's easier for me to finesse the shape of my brows with the flat brush. And yeah, that's it for the brows. Some days they look better, some days they look worse. You know, I think today is like a little happy medium for me. Um, and now I'm about to move on to my foundation. I like to use MAC Studio Mix Fluid in NC50. So I just go ahead and I, look, I'm a MAC girl. I use a lot of MAC products. I go ahead and I just like squirt it out onto my face. And then I use the same brush that I use to conceal my brows and I just spread it out like that. I worry, I don't put any um, foundation on my forehead yet. I worry about that last because I don't know, I just do. Yes, Sam. My makeup is fucked up. What do you mean it's messed up? The brush is just not going on. I told you to come get a. I told you to come get a, a sponge. This shit is a fucking muddy ass nasty mess. If you need a sponge, come get a sponge. I'm already. I already fucked it up now. I fucked it. Oh, that's not messed up. What are you talking about? You can't see it in person. If you see the texture in person. Okay, well look, I need my 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Bye. I think he wants to set a timer for 15 minutes. Is that right? Sure. Okay, 15 minutes. Starting now. Side note, if you need an alarm in this room in the morning, I can do that too. Just say, set an alarm for 7 a.m. God. So yeah, I got 15 minutes to finish my makeup. But, um, I'm using a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender to go ahead and just like blend the foundation out. 
And um, I like to double up on my foundation. I just take the like access from the beauty blender and I just go ahead and just dab it on my forehead. My lace is looking crazy. This is not one of my wigs. This is like one of the wigs the company sent me. And the lace is not HD. <laughs> it's giving very much transparent. Which isn't bad, but the lace, the transparent lace is uh, thicker than HD lace. So you can, I don't know, you gotta do more baby hairs to camouflage the dang it on lace. And it's already been on for like the past two, three days now. So, mm. so I like to actually double up on my foundation. So I'm gonna do a few more squirts. Ooh, hopefully I'm not running out. Dang, it might be time for me to, oh no, never mind. I think it was just getting stuck. And then I blend it on, I spread it out, per usual, per normal, right? I actually didn't need to put any on my chin because, so as I let that kind of sit, I feel like when the foundation and the concealer sits, um, it, does it more coverage. I think it does more coverage. So for concealer, I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC in the color, in the shade of NC45. And um, I highlight underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, around my mouth, and sometimes my forehead area. And I use the same brush that I use to conceal my brows. I'm that girl that uses uses a lot of product. You don't have to necessarily, but I do and it works for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out on my chin because I wanna put some highlight there. You spill me, you spill me, cool. So I go ahead and I let that sit. And then sometimes, y'all, cause I'm extra, sometimes I double up on my concealer by using the LA Pro Girl Concealer that I used for my brows. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend out the highlighted parts. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Espresso Matte Stick as my um, contour. And then to contour my nose, I just like go down my bridge like that. And then I go across the nose and then I do like that. Look, I don't know how to explain it. Look, I'm gonna get better, y'all. It's been a while since I've done a video like this. And then I'm gonna blend it out using this Merit brush. And I'm just gonna dab. I like to put it right below my cheekbone to kind of give it a little push, a little, mm, you know, a little. Mm. So I'm gonna use this brush that I got from Amazon a while back. I can try to find it and link it down below, and use that to contour my nose. Go ahead and use the um, Laura Mercier Transparent Honey um, Setting Powder and set underneath my eyes. And I like to blend it in as I go. I like to blend it slash let it set, like let it sit. So it's like halfway kind of blended. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Laura Mercier um, Transparent Setting Powder in Medium Deep and set the rest of my face. And for that, I like to use the Morphe brush in M449. And I literally just do, I just set the, my face like that. I like to let that sit because it, it defines the contour line a little bit more. I know it looks crazy now, but it's gonna look better in a second. 
for shadow, I'm going to do a pop of color. I want to do, um, well actually I'm debating between pink and yellow. And a part of me actually, now that I'm saying this out loud, what I'm going to do is use my um, Morphe brush M431. It's like one of these round little brushes. I'm gonna use that in the inner corner of my eyes. But before I do that, I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray my brush. And I'm just using the um, Prep and Prime Fix Setting Spray by MAC, obviously. And I'm going to use my Morphe palette. Ah! I'm going to use my Morphe palette in this pink color. I'm going to try this pink color, this shade right here, and see if it's giving me what I'm looking for. I do think this would look so much better if it was like a hard and neon pink. I have so many eyeshadows. I just haven't unpacked all of my makeup yet still. And I've been in this apartment since September. But y'all know, like, I was going through a lot at the end of last year. Um, and I just started kind of, like, being comfortable with myself. The swelling is, like, slowly but surely going down on my face. And just, like, I'm just doing makeup and going outside more recently. So it's time for me to go ahead and go through um, more of my boxes and pull things out because I have a lot of makeup. And now I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love this palette because it's giving me nothing but neutrals and this is like my everyday go-to palette. I'm gonna take that shade Cinnamon Roll, which is the darkest shade in this palette, the darkest matte shade in this palette, and I'm gonna just brush that underneath my waterline. Above my royal line where you would typically put your liquid liner, I am going to use the Morphe Brush 165. And I'm going to use that same shade. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. I'm going to use that Boo Bear <laughs> shade. It's like the next to darkest brown shade. And I'm just going to use that to kind of like put that uh, above my eyelid. I was actually gifted this by one of my um, shipmates when I was in the military. And um, it's a crayon case highlighting pow powder. So mind you, I've had this for years and it's still full. Like it's, it's, it's a lot, it's literally a lot. So you wanna kind of be frugal. Not even frugal, you just wanna be light-handed on this because this stuff, this stuff goes a long way, obviously. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the corner of my eyes as well, just so it can pop a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now. I'm gonna be using the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This is like really one of the only um, setting sprays that I feel like does what it's supposed to do. Um, I typically do use like I've used the Morphe setting spray. I like the Morphe setting spray. I use MAC, obviously, it's empty, Studio Fix setting spray, but this Urban Decay All Night setting spray, baby. Woo. It never lets your girl down. You don't have to do that many sprays, but I do. Woo. And then for glue, I just use the um, I Envy Strip Last Adhesive and with aloe. This is um, black lash glue. So while my lashes dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit. Clean as you go. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I'm okay. gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit. For lips, I'm gonna be using my MAC lip gloss um, in Dangerous Curves. It's like this really cute, pretty nude lip gloss. And then I typically use cork lip liner. It's a brown lip liner by MAC. But I've actually fell in love with this new lip liner. It's this color pencil um, by Makeup Forever in the shade of Limitless Brown. I recently fell in love with that. So I'm gonna be using that from here on out. Or sometimes. 
And then for my mascara underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using this uh, Magic Extension MAC Mascara. Look, I love MAC, y'all. Please, I love MAC. I'm so old school. Cause it's like, why try to fix something that's not broken? And MAC is not broken, so baby. Hmm, hmm. Okay, cool. It looked like I got like liner on, but I don't. It's just the mascara really pulling out my bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm about to go ahead and put on my lashes because they should be fednito right now. Lashes just like really completes your makeup look. I start with tacking down the outer end of the lash first because I don't want the lash to be too far in and not meet the end. So like I start with tacking that down first and then move it onto the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair down. This is looking a little cakey up there, but I use the olive oil wig grip super hold spray. <laughs> Love this stuff. The best thing invented next to the got to be spraying, okay? So my hair is basically already done. I just need to go find me something to wear. It's Juneteenth. I don't know if I want to wear African print today or but if y'all haven't seen my last vlog, go ahead and check that out. Um, uh, Dianu is a, um, a black owned company that uh, creates um, modern day African inspired clothing. So they had sent me two pieces that I had did like a channel haul at the end of that vlog. And I'm thinking to wear one of them. And I asked Instagram like what was their favorite. And a lot of people, majority of the people said the black dress. So I might wear the black dress. You ready? No ma'am, do you know what you're wearing? I'm wearing these dress actually. What dress? The shoes. With a cap. So was... A fitted cap? Yes, they did it on this book. Your makeup look good and I, I'm not tripping. I'm not lying either. Yes, you are. Hell no, I'm not. My best friend just told me that it's supposed to be ugly. Why would she tell you that? <laughs> she crazy like me. Your makeup is just not ugly as fuck. Is she serious like, or was she joking? Put your head on. Is that what she said? Mm -hmm. Are you serious right now? I could. But this is what I was wearing. A white dress and what shoes? You're not wearing that white dress with no fitted cap. You're not doing that. You are not wearing that white dress with a fitted cap. That don't even make sense. That. Right now. No, you do not. And if you it, to make you feel comfortable, if you need to do your makeup over, do it over. But I don't think your makeup is crazy. And you not gonna do no red lip with no fitted cap. That's just not gonna work. Okay, so your girl is ready to go. This is how my makeup and my hair turned out. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a second. But first, I'm gonna give you guys a cute little um, mini video, music video. <laughs> Okay, so this is how my makeup turned out. It turned absolutely beautiful. Hair, makeup, outfit. We are definitely on theme. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. If you ended up liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you want to become a part of the Kendra family, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.
be in my car actually. What the short one? Yeah. Where are you gonna use that short one that's at my house? You don't never use. No, never use cause you that need to one. bring your camera out. So I need my own tripod. Cause you need to start bringing your camera out. Mm, yeah. What's your name of this restaurant? Two Urban Lit. What's it called? Two Urban Lit. Two Urban Lit. Two Urban Lit. Like a hit. Lit. Two Urban Lit. Oh, that's funny. We are here at dinner at Two Urban Lit here at the Boardwalk. Not Boardwalk. Beltline. Beltline. <laughs> here in Atlanta. Um, I ordered some salmon. Sister girl ordered some rotisserie chicken. Everything is looking good. The weather is amazing. Lemon drops is dropping. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then after this, we're gonna go to one of her friends' pop-up shops, right? Mm -hmm. Centennial Park. In where? Centennial Park. Centennial Park. I try to list some things down below. It's summertime. We all gotta come outside, try some new things, okay? Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back.